Hey guys, today in this video we are going to be scanning this sculpture that I recently made using the Creality Lizard 3D Scanner. And we're, I'm going to show you what happens on the computer when you 3D scan. And then in another video I am going to be doing a printout of this in a 3D printer and we'll see how it turns out. Let's get started. It's this. This is the 3D scanner I'm going to be using. Kind of clunky. And then a bunch of cables that go into your uh, laptop. So it does work for PC and Mac, but I believe it works a little bit better for PC. First thing that you have to do is have your computer. These are the cables that come with the Creality. It comes with an outlet. And I'm just going to plug it in. And then you have a USB socket. And you've uh, heard me complain about these uh, series of cables. For this, this actually, you could use a new iPhone. The iPhones, of course, are much more expensive than this. So it comes with this. This goes into your scanner and it goes on the side here. There's only one way of putting it. There we go. Once you click it in, you hear the noise. That's a fan inside of it, keeping it nice and cool. And then you have a USB that goes up to your computer. So now I'm going to start the software. I'm going to be using a new software that is Creality Studio. So once you have this on here, it starts to show up on the screen. Click the red counter below to stop scanning. So we're already scanning. Yeah, this software is definitely a whole lot, a whole lot different. Seems to be scanning really well. And we're just going to kind of move it. You'll see the colors change depending on the direction or the, uh, the distance you are from your object. So just kind of rotate it around and you're seeing it kind of move. Yeah, again, thanks for pointing out I was using the wrong software because I had no idea. I thought it was the CR Light Studio and it turns out it was CR Studio that I should have been using. Hopefully this is going to be a big improvement. So far it seems very reliable. You see the base kind of coming up. Get the base. It's getting really well. So let's get the, on the inside of that leg. A lot of times inside stuff tends to get hidden. So you want to move around like this. Kind of move it up and down. And do it over, over the uh, head, an eagle's eye type of thing, something kind of pointing up. Get all the details around the hair, underneath the, the hair as well. Get under the wing of the, the goose, which seems to, seems to have lost it. I'll make sure I get that wing. Get the base. Get the hand and then underneath the arm here. There we go. Yeah, this is scanning pretty well. 
and we are scanning for geometry and that texture, then we're probably going to do a texture one. Just I'm going to actually remove it. So I'm going to stop this. So the next and final step is just to go into Mesh Mixer and I am going to speed up the process so you can see what I do. But I take the sculpture and I smooth it out because for some reason this 3D scanner makes it a little bit imperfect. As you can see, a lot of blemishes on the skin, a lot of lumpiness. And unfortunately, you do have to spend a couple of hours cleaning it up. So after this, I'm going to put it up on my Cult 3D page. Check out the description in the link below. And that's it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you found this useful, give me a like and a subscribe. And it really helps out the algorithm. And I'll see you on the next sculpture. Thank you for watching.